it's Steve with Rockart again, and today we're going to do a, a video to show the proper way to install a large rockguard on this particular boat, which is 18 foot maximum, and just show you the quickest and the best way for installation. We'll go through all the parts and how to install it and what it should look like when it's all set up. And so this is what it looks like when you unwrap the box and all the contents that come in a rock guard kit. You'll have the rock guard in its protective bag and the center post and side posts are all installed in there. And then the rest of the hardware as you see here and then a full set of instructions so it's easy to follow. So we're going to start by doing some sub-assemblies and then we'll start the installation. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to set up the center post hardware with the center post, but we have to get the center post that's wrapped up inside the panel. So that'll be our next thing is to get the center post out. Or we could just slide it out the end for now. And then this will be our center post. So we'll need two bolts that are on their own. Plates, anchor brackets, and one eye bolt bracket, and one three, three pack bolt. So, this is all the parts that go into the center post. What we'll start off doing first is mounting the bottom plates. So it's basically a sandwich. So we're going to put in a washer and a bolt. And then we're going to go through the bottom hole first. Straight across. Mount on our other plate. And they're facing each other. So they're back to back. Then we're going to go with another flat washer. A lock washer and a nut and then we'll repeat it oops I forgot my foot washer the flat washer through the hole flat washer lock washer and nut and you'll notice that there's three holes in the brackets and three bolts. If we're using the center post on an angle, what we would do is have the um, third bolt going to the either side that we uh, aren't using. So if we wanted to set this bracket up, center post to be set at an angle, we could actually tilt it one hole pattern, which will move it uh, the sum of 15 degrees and then we could mount the center post at an angle and that you need sometimes because you want to get a, your, if you're too close to the bow then you can get the tip further away from the bow so for shorter um, tongues and things like that you can tilt it forward and get it further away from the tip of the bow because you don't want it too close you want to be about or was, maybe 10 inches, 8-10 inches is as close as you want to be and then that will give you the right side clearances. So this is set at 15 degrees forward. So I think we'll use that setup on my boat because what that will do is get me further away from the bow. So we're going to go ahead and use the 15 degrees forward on this setup. So now we'll use bolts so just set it on the frame put it through the bracket flat washer lock washer and then if you spin a nut down it'll hold it in place for the other ones. 
Okay, now we have the first U-bolt installed. Now we're gonna install the second U-bolt and then repeat the same flat washer, lock washer, and the nut. And spin it all the way down. Okay, now we have our bracket assembly set up, but everything is still loose. Side bolts are not tight. We'll do that in a moment, but we still wanna be able to move this around to get our right position. So right now we're gonna install the U-bolt or the I-bolt that uh, we'll be doing attaching to the rock guard. So just spin this nut all the way on. Now in this new type of center post, we can mount it this way or this way. And that will let you move the rock guard more forward or more reverse by moving it from back to front. So I'm just going to put it in from the back side. And you put the nut right to the end on here. So you finish spinning the nut all the way to the end and make the eye bolt vertical. And then add the flat washer and this special acorn nut. And what you're going to do is bottom this out. And then we'll tighten that up when we tighten everything else up and then maintain a vertical position in this eye bolt. Okay, we're gonna position this center post about 15 inches in front of the bow, and that you may or may not have to move around to get a proper, proper fit to the sides, because that's what's gonna indica indicate if you're at the right position here. When the panels are installed, you don't want them to touch the side of the boat. So I'm choosing this position here, and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the bolts. And there's kind of a, a sequence to tightening the bolts, so that's what I'm gonna show you now. So we're gonna go ahead and snug up the, the bolts that are clamping the center post to the brackets. Not overly tight, I'm just snugging them up. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is center the post on the tube. So try to get equal distance in there and square in two directions. So I'm pretty good there, so I'm gonna, just going to snug this with my fingers. And then you can actually check by putting your fingers in the gap of the, the U-bolt. Then move it around a little bit. It doesn't have to be exact, but it looks nicer when it's in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. You don't have to over tighten it right now because we just want to get everything mounted in case we have to move move it. And in any case, you don't want to over tighten everything where you start to bend the plates because then that's you just have it too tight. Okay, now I'm going back to that extra bolt that we were talking about. This is where we're going to place it is in the open hole to finish off. doing the bolts for the center post and then we'll just snug this one up as well. Again, not over tight, it's just snug. And one last item we're going to do is tighten the, U, the eye bolt that we installed earlier. So this is a 9 16 wrench and we're just going to snug that down as well. Just like that so we didn't really reef on it it's just good and snug and you can't nothing will move okay now we're going to go to starting with the panels okay now we're at the stage that we're going to install the, the panels and then tighten up the, the hardware on one side at a time so we're going to choose the panel that has the, those straps on the bottom so if you notice, fold this open. This one has straps and this one has just some D-rings. We're gonna select this panel to start. And then just leave this one out of the way. So the first thing we're gonna do is pin it to the side post brackets. We're going to 
pin the bottom one first. And if you notice, this is all still loose because we want to get it in the right position after we have it clipped to the front post. So if you can see, it's through there, and then we'll just clip that on. Now these two holes will give you the option of what angle you want to choose. So we're just going to rotate this up. And if you notice, if we try to go to the top hole on this boat, I won't be able to get the pin in. Plus we're tapping on the side of the boat, which we don't want. So we're going to come back down to the 45 degree position and pin it. Now the post can't come out and we have the ability to set its position now. Also on these brackets, you'll notice there's a, a hole in the middle. This hole is here. If a person wants to drill a new position and use this hole to be in between the, the 60 degree and the 45 degree. Now we're just gonna clip it to the front post. And we're going to just slide this back a bit so that when I'm pulling on the rock guard, I have a straight edge here and I'm kind of in the middle of the pocket here. And this is just temporary so we know we're roughly in the right spot. So then we're going to keep pulling it back. So now we're going to attach it to the anchor. It goes through one D-ring. And goes start going back towards the rock guard and then you're gonna set up your rope cinch so we're just gonna hook it about there now we're just gonna slide this back so now we have about an inch and a half to two inches of return on this small strap and that's where we want to be because we need enough adjustment left in here to do the final tightening so then we're just going to slide it back a little bit and finger tight these and you notice we're not over tightening anything one big mistake with uh, installations is over tightening and we don't want to do that and this strap here is a safety strap and we'll deal with that in a while so now if you look at the side panel, you have a straight line here and a straight line here and uh, the bracket in this case I find is still a little too far forward so we're just going to slide it back to be in the middle of the pocket and that's where we want to be on that. So now we have this side installed. Now to quickly locate the second side, what we're going to do is locate the hardware on this side and transfer it to the other side. So you can pick a point and it doesn't matter where, as long as you can do it on both sides. And in this case, I'm going to use the trailer frame weld and I'm going to say I'm 15 inches to the front side of here. And then I'm going to measure from this bracket to the fleeting edge of the U-bolt and I'm 57 inches. So 15 inches and 57 inches. So we'll transfer that to the second side. So now we've located the brackets and we know we can just set it at 15 inches and we'll snug that up just with our fingers because we know this side is compared to the first side so we know it's in, roughly in the right position and then we're going to do 57 inches to the leading ed, edge of the u-bolt and then we're going to snug that down as well now we can go ahead and install the second panel again going from the bottom And it's all right if these pins are a little tight when you first install them because we don't want them to be too loose. So they'll work in over time, but they will be a little stiff when you first install them. So now we're gonna go up to our 
45 degree position because we know from the other side that that's where we have to be. So we've got our two clips in. Now we'll go ahead and attach to the front post. So we're just copying what we did the first time. And again, now we're gonna do our D-ring through the D-ring. And this is very important because this is what keeps the rock guard in place and intact on your frame. So we have about the same return as the first side. Put your hook through in from the bottom out and then take up a little bit of tension. So now you'll check up the sides. You have a straight edge here, a straight edge here. And we'll look down at the side post bracket and see that it's in the middle of the pocket where we want to be. So we're in pretty good shape to tighten this down now in its final position. So we're going to go ahead and uh, tighten up the side post bracket and the anchor bracket. And now we've had both uh, panels installed. The hardware is uh, firmly tightened but not over tightened. Remember you don't want to start bending brackets to be tight enough. It's just got to be good and snug. And you want to periodically check it after installation just to make sure everything is staying tight. So now what we're going to do is do the final uh, attachments of doing the straps and the final cinching. So you're going to make sure you're bringing the straps through flat. And it's a double D-ring just like on a motorcycle helmet. Through the two rings, come back through through one ring, and then just pull. And again, we're not trying to tighten it so hard as it's uh, stressing all the materials. We just want to snug it up, and that's going to be good where it is. And just a quick pointer while we're at the front, is your handle should always default towards the boat uh, or out in front of the rock guard, but never sticking right into the panel. So we'll go back to the second strap. Same as the first. Just snug. And then on the large, there's a third strap. Make sure it's not tangled or twisted. And again, double D ring through, tighten it down. You want to tighten it so the rock guard goes to about the bottom of the frame. And then, so that's that. And then you'll go back. Now you'll apply the, the end tension. So we're going to disengage the rope out of the cleat and we're going to pull back on the rock guard and pull the rope towards the rock guard and then lock it in place. Again, so it's not too tight, you're going to have movement, which is good. And then what I do is I just put a small knot in the rope. Now this strap is a safety strap, so if this anchor fails, this strap will catch the tail end of the rock guard from whipping and hitting the boat. So it's a simple process, just unbuckle it, go around the frame. This part comes up through here, and then just buckle it in and snug it up a little bit, and that's it. So if, if this ever fails, the safety strap will catch it. And then the remainder is just to, if you want the straps, you can cut them and then remelt the ends so they don't fray. And But you need about 10 inches here, and then the excess can be just bundled up and tied to itself. And you can do that on the three, the three straps to get rid of some excess. And then one final note that you can do is you can cut the tops of the U-bolts off to reduce the, the excess on these as well. 
And then there you have it. You have a nice straight edge. You have a nice straight sides. You have movement, and that's how it works. Because a rock arm will rock will hit it. The speed will be reduced, and then the rock will fall away and save the bow of your boat. And that's how you install a rock guard from the manufacturer on himself. So, hope you get good use out of your rock guard and lots of protection for your boat. Thank you very much.